again everybody let's give God a hand praise right now let's thank the Lord for another day one writer said this is the day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in how many glad that you amen that in your house of God one more time one more time that God has allowed us to assemble ourselves amen together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and certainly we thank God for you sitting amen here in the Congregation, praise our God, at Refuge Temple Church, I mean, church in the heart of the city with the people of the city in its heart. And located at 311 West Spring Street in the wonderful city of Oxford, North Carolina. And amen. And the pastor here, amen, is none other than Elder Willie David Morton, praise our God, man of God, that God has chosen for the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ in these last days. And even for those of you that are home that are joining with us via Facebook Live, we thank God for you, you, and you. Amen. And the same God that's going to meet us here in the sanctuary is the same God that can meet you home. Amen. Whether or not if you're languishing on your bed, amen, of affliction. Whether or not, amen, you're in your living room, your parlor, amen, maybe your basement room, basement or your attic. The same God, amen, praise our God, is here as the same God that's the way you are. We ask that you join with us in song and prayer and praise. And amen that your name, that the name of the Lord would be lifted up. And whether or not if you're sick and afflicted, we know that God, amen, is a healer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask, ask you, amen, if you're up in the area or neighborhood, stop by and see us, amen, so we can know who you are and we'll greet, greet you, amen, in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To make you welcome, amen, in this house, in Jesus' name. At this time, it's time for our scripture reading, and I just ask those of you that are home, if you grab your Bibles, praise our God, those in the sanctuary here, amen, if you can grab your Bibles, in the name of Jesus Christ. God is a wonderful God to us, saints. I said, he's a mighty good God. How many knew that he's a healer in the house? How many know that he's Jehovah Jireh, that he will supply all of your needs in accordance to his riches and glory? And we just praise God for it in the name of Jesus. As you turn to with me to Psalm 33, I'd ask you to rest on your feet in Jesus' name. We thank you, Jesus. Psalm 33. When you have turned to it, can you just just say amen? Thank you, Jesus. Maybe you have it on your electronic device. That's all right. Thank you, Jesus. There you will find these words as recorded in Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. For praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing unto him with a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right. And all his works are done in truth. 
He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of his goodness, of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up the depth of the storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all thy inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and thou and it stood fast. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word as contained in Psalms 33 verses 1, amen through 9. It's prayer time now and more things have been wrought by prayer than this world has ever dreamed about. Certainly, amen, this day we were remembering our prayers. Amen. Melanie Marie, the little baby, is just started feeding again. And we thank God for that. Thank God for our parents. Thank God, amen, for Gertrude Williamson, that Lord will just touch her body. Even Sister Seneca, praise our God, as she's ministering, amen, to her mother in the name of Jesus. Sister Talitha Haynes, we want to remember her in prayer in the name of Jesus. We also want to remember those under the sound of my voice that are going through pain, Lady Sharon Chavis, that the Lord will touch her body in the name of Jesus. And certainly we want to remember in our prayer, Sister Tammy Keith, that God will touch her and our companion, Brother Don Keith, that God will just go by their home and touch them. And also, God, Brother Thurman Cooper, that God, amen, he's worked a wonder, brought him out of the hospital. And God is still healing. God is still delivering. Saints of God, these are praying times. We are living in the last days. Jesus is soon to come. Now, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to, but ready or not, amen, it's time for us to get our houses together because Jesus is coming soon. And I don't know about you. I want to go back with him when he comes. I want to be caught up in the rapture in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the presence of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts, as we offer up the praise unto your name. Oh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, move in this house. Shut up. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the presence of our people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts, as we offer up the praise unto Can you just grab somebody by the hand as we go to the throne of grace? If you just got to move down here, just grab somebody by the hand. Grab somebody by the hand. Make them feel warm. Help them feel welcome. Let them feel that you care for them, that you love them, you're concerned about them. Let them know that God is going to make you. Don't know what they went through last night. Some of them could have. Some of us could have cried all night long last night. Somebody could have been in pain last night. But God allowed you to make your way to the house of God. Some of us are going through right now. We're going through trials and tribulation, but we're in the midst of it all. We're going to offer praise to the Lord. Welcome into this place. Make them feel warm. Make them feel good. Welcome. He's a healer, y'all. He's God will give you a breakthrough right now, even with a point of contact. Do abide in the presence.
Eternal God and Father, thou who dwelleth between the cherubims, thou who art God and God alone, thou who has all power in heaven and earth, O God. And Lord, this day, God, we count it a privilege that we can come boldly to the throne of grace, that, O God, that we can bring our petitions before you, O Lord. Father, even to magnify you, to glorify you, O God, because you are God. And God, and God alone in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just come glorifying you, Lord, for last night's rest and rising this morning, oh God. Lord, welcoming the Holy Ghost in this place right now. Father, stretch out your hand upon us, oh God. Lord, even those that are home, oh God, we ask, God, do a visitation right now. Touch somebody, Lord, who is afflicted on their bed. God, who is waiting for healing, waiting for a divine touch. Amen. From the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God, you heard the names that we called before you, Lord. Uh, stop by their homes right now. Uh, oh God, Mother Cheatham, Lord, touch. Uh, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God, Mother Holt, oh God, Mother Booker, Lord. Uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Mother Myrtle Green, uh, touch them in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, we bless your holy name. Uh, God, remember the sick, remember the burden right now. Oh, God, we just come, Lord, celebrating you, Lord. Thanking you, God, for your mercy. How you've given us, oh, God, a good rest last night. Rising this morning. Oh, God, what a mind. Oh, God, to serve you, Lord. Oh, God, asking you, Lord. Oh, God, remember the homeless, oh, God. The men, the women who are incarcerated. Remember the peace of Jerusalem right now. Oh, God, in that part of the world, God, where they're struggling, where they're fighting. In the name of Jesus, we realize that there'll be no peace until the Prince of Peace comes. But God, watch over your city, Jerusalem. In the name of Jesus, God, remember the homeless right now. Somebody standing on the corner. Oh, God, looking for a handout. Oh, God, the men and women who are incarcerated. Father, in that name, Jesus, we know, God, that there's a breakthrough, God. Remember those, oh, God, the migrants coming into the country, God. Lord, we need you right now. Oh, God, to settle the problems. Oh, God, in this broken world, World right now. Uh, God, turn it around, Lord. Uh, remember those in leadership, uh, those in government, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, fix it right now, God. Uh, Lord, you are the answer to all of our dilemmas and all of our problems, God. Uh, we bring them to you, Lord, uh, for you are the problem solver. You are the mind fixer, heart regulator. And Father God, uh, we just exalt your name above the other name. Uh, oh, God, lead us and guide us. Uh, undergird us with your divine truth, oh God. God, uh, help our minds, uh, oh God, ever to be stayed on you uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and these hands that we hold, oh God, uh, as a point of contact right now. Uh, we pray for our brothers. Uh, we pray for our sisters. Uh, do it, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, bless every word uh, that goeth forth out of your mouth uh, this day, God, uh, for you declared in your word, uh, it shall not return, uh, amen, unto your void, God. Uh, oh God, glorify yourself uh, in this house right now. Uh, walk through every high, walk through every seat. Uh, God, lift every burden, God. Uh, turn that frown, uh, oh God, to tears of joy. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, don't let us leave here uh, the way we came in, uh, but let us leave with a shout. Uh, let us declare in our spirit, uh, it was good for us to be here. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, God, we love you. We magnify you. In the name of Jesus, uh, and Father, we would be remiss uh, if we not ask for the forgiveness uh, of our sins, our faults, our shortcomings. Our failures, God, in the name of Jesus. God, any thought that we might have held on to just a little too long, God, we give it to you, Lord. Take all of our sins. Cast them in the sea of forgetfulness, sins of omission, sins of commission. Whatever it was, God, that would hinder our walk with you, Lord. Work it out, God. Straighten us out and let your holy divine will be done. Come by here this morning. Bless the men of God that shall bring forth the word of God. Send an anointing in this house, God. Let us feel the move of God, the spirit of God, the power of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Give us a soul in this house in the name of Jesus. Do it for us, Lord, and we will not fail to give your name praise. Welcome into this place. Thank you. 
welcome Chama to this broken vessel you desire to die in the presence of your people so we lift our hands as we lift our hearts as we offer up praise unto your name. Pastor Spire. I am determined to hold out to the end. Jesus is with me. On him I can depend. Oh, I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am. Amen. Oh, pray, pray, Steve. Jesus is with me. On him I can depend. Oh, I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold on to the end. Oh, I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me. On him I can depend. Oh, I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined.
Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and do a dance with me. Come on and do a dance with me. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and sing hallelujah. If you think good, sing hallelujah. Come on and pray the Lord with me. 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 Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Giving the highest praise, yeah. Strength, love. 
anybody know him to be your strength? You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. I'm so glad that it reaches Reaches to me. Reaches to me. Reaches to me. It reaches to me. I'm so glad that it reaches me, Jesus. I'm so glad your blood reaches me, Jesus. I'm so glad your peace reaches me, Jesus. I'm so glad your strength reaches me, Jesus. It reaches me. It reaches me. In the midnight hour, it reaches me, Jesus. On my sinking bed, it reaches me, Jesus. In my weakest hour, it reaches me, Jesus. I'm so glad your blood reaches me, Jesus. And it covers me, Jesus. And it strengthens me, Jesus. And it lifts me up, Jesus. And it saves my soul, Jesus. And it heals my body, Jesus. And it keeps my mind, Jesus. Said it heals my body, Jesus. And it touches my heart, Jesus. It strengthens my soul, Jesus. It makes me whole, Jesus. It saves my soul, Jesus. It strengthens my body, Jesus. It keeps my mind, Jesus. It saves my soul, Jesus. It picks me up, Jesus. It strengthens my body, Jesus. It touches my heart, Jesus. Your blood saves me, Jesus. Your peace keeps me, Jesus. Your strength sweetens me, Jesus. Oh, yes, it does. It reaches, reaches to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and give God glory. Come on and give God glory. It's his strength. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord, Jesus. Worship the Lord, Jesus. He's strengthening you right now. He's healing you right now. He's touching you right now. It's reaching you right now. It's reaching you right now. Come on and bless the Lord right now. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Reach to me. Do you know if it hadn't reached us, hallelujah, if the blood hadn't reached us, hallelujah, where would we be right now, hallelujah, if that healing touch hadn't touched us, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I said you can't tell it, let me tell it. What he's done for me. I said you can't tell it, let me tell it. What he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he done for me. I get joy when I think about what he done for me. I get happy when I think about what he done for me. I get happy what he done for me. I get joy when I think about what he done for me. I get joy. 
Brown. 
savior. He is my master. He is provider. He is a ruler. He's king of kings. He's Lord of lords. He is the savior. He is I am. He is I am. He is I am. He has the power. He heals my body. He saved my soul. He dried my tears. He wiped my tears. He held my soul. He is the master. He is provider. He made a way. Jesus, there's power in the name, there's healing in his name, salvation in his name, name his name, the name above all names, the name above all names, Buddha can't do it, Confucius can't do it, no other name, no other name, said Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, that Jesus, Jesus, that Jesus, Jesus, that I feel better when I call that name, and you'll feel better when you call that name, that Jesus, 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 Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? I dare you to jump up three times and say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Put those hands together. Give him glory. Give him glory. I said, give him glory. What's his name? What's his name? Is he a healer? Is he a deliverer? Is he a way maker? Is he a burden bearer? Call his name. Call his name. Raise your head and say, Jesus. 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 My redeemer. My healer. My deliverer. My way maker. Jesus. Yeah. I said, yeah. Thank you. Jesus, I shout out glory. The spirit of the Lord is in this house. I said the spirit of the Lord is in this house. I said the spirit of the Lord is in this house. If you believe it, just shout hallelujah. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. I can feel it. I said, I, 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 I can feel it in the eye, Lord.
thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's all right. It's all right to give him glory. It's all right to give him glory. It's all right to give him glory. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Woo. Oh. Thank you. When the praises go up, I said when the praises go up, I said when the praises go up, y'all don't hear me, y'all don't hear me, I said when the praises go up, the blessings gonna come down. How many praises is in the house today? How many praises in the house today? You gonna praise him not because I said so. But you're going to praise it because when you look back over your life and begin to think things over. Come on, somebody. I said when you look back over your life and begin to think things over. Oh, you've been saved all your life. I'm talking about folks who haven't been saved all their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! When I look back over my life and I begin to think things over, I can truly say, oh my God, y'all not with me in here. I said, some of us got a history. Some of us been around the barn a long time ago. Uh, but God called you out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. Uh, he put a praise in your mouth. Uh, he put a song in your mouth. Uh, he put clapping in your hands. Uh, Oh, hallelujah. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, for if it was not for the Lord on your side, uh, you would have been cut off uh, a long time ago. Uh, but look what God did. Uh, he made a way uh, out of no way. Uh, he opened the door. Uh, he became your burden bearer. He became your heart fixer. He became your mind regulator. Yes. 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 I need three people. I just need three people that want to stand and give God praise right now. When you think back over your life, you could have been cut off a long time ago. But the Lord, I said, the Lord made a way for you. I said, the Lord opened the door for you. When the devil thought he had you, but you got away. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got away. I got away. I got away. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you got to praise the Lord by yourself. If you can't get no help from nobody. I've been up the midnight hour. I've been saved long enough. I don't need you to help me praise him. But when I think about where the Lord, when I think about the Lord, I said, when I think about the Lord, I said, 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 when I think about where the Lord brought me from, I don't need you to help me. I'll praise him, praise him, praise him all by myself. I said, I'll praise him. I said, I'll praise him. I don't care what I look like. I'll put on a crazy praise. If I have to put on a crazy praise, I'll put on a crazy praise. Because the joy of the Lord, I said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Woo! I said, the joy of the Lord. I said, it could have been joy of the Lord. 
I didn't have to be standing here this morning. I could have been dead in my grave years ago. Uh, that's why when I look back over my life, I began to think. I said, I began to think. Uh, when I began to think, uh, and the more I think uh, something happens in my soul, uh, the more I think, uh, the more this belly in my soul uh, comes up with a praise. Yes, yes, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, I'll praise him anyway, uh, anytime. There's a breakthrough in your praise. There's a breakthrough in your praise. Uh, how do I know that? Because uh, the Bible said uh, that when the praises go up, uh, 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 the blessings come down. Yes. Yes. Woo. I said when the praises go up. I said when the praises go up. You know your stuff. You know your stuff. You know your story. But look what God did. Uh, he brought you out. Uh, when the devil would have swallowed you up, uh, you thought you were so cute. Uh, you couldn't praise him. Uh, you were too cute. Uh, you could do it all by yourself. Uh, but I'm here to tell somebody, uh, it was the blood. Uh, it was the blood uh, that saved me. Uh, it was the blood that redeemed me. Woo! Thank you. Feels good in here. I said, it feels good. Um, it feels good just to know that we, you see, I don't know if I should tell you this or not, but if I said any, Mother Williams knew I was a good dancer. Mother Williams could tell you, but I was, I could dance. Mother, I was the best dancer on campus of Winston Salem. I was, Mother Williams could tell you, I, I could dance. Latin, because you know, New York, you know, Latin dance, a dancer. But guess what? I'm still dancing. I'm still dancing. But I just happened to change partners. I'm dancing in the Holy Ghost now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mother Williams was not a good dancer. <laughs> Well, 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 well. <laughs> oh, God. God is wonderful. We praise God. It's just good to be here, saints of God. This is what we do, saints. Let me say this. This is what we do. This is what we do. We come together just to say, Lord, I thank you. And you know, so what? It makes me happy when I see your smiling faces. To be in the house of God because you could have been anywhere else. But aren't you happy that you're here? That you got a church home, a church family, a wonderful pastor. You know, we need to be thankful. The Bible says, despise not the day of small things. See, some people look for grandiose. I thank God for the small things. Thank God for life, health, and strength. Sister Shemara was trying to get me to read her lips. I couldn't see her with my left eye. But guess what? I still got a praise. Still got a praise. I'm not going to fold up like a cheap camera, but I'm still going to give God glory because he is worthy to be praised. At this time, praise our God, we're going to ask Brother Rogers that he might come forward. We're going to ask our ushers. Thank God for our ushers. Praise our God. Sister Layla and Brother Ty, that they may go. Thank God. Let's give a round of applause for our, our ushers. Thank you, Jesus. Shata, glory. I feel like I got saved all over. Have you ever come? Oh, Lord, see. Don't you know every time you shout, every time you speak in tongues, you're getting saved all over? Oh, God, you don't got to come to some of my theology classes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God.
you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shut up, glory. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you asking the blessing upon this offering that we have received. The Lord loves a cheers for givers. Give as God has blessed you. And Lord, use this spiritual blessing for the upbuilding of thy kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. In your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary for us, in his precious holy name, we ask to bless this offering in his name. Amen. Certainly, we thank you for what you have given at this time. Amen. We're going to call on Sister Kim for the announcements. We're so glad to see Brother Thurman Hargrove, or Hargrove, Thurman Cooper. Amen. Thank God. And let's give a round of applause. Amen. He spent over a week in the hospital. Mother Williams and I went down to have prayer for him and his lovely wife and family. God is good. The best is yet to come, son. You hear me? God is not finished. God is not finished. As I told you the other day at the hospital, God has a work for you to do. Just put it in your mind. And here's one thing I found about God. You're going to do his work whether or not you like it or not. Let me say that one more time. If God got to grab you by the scruff of your neck, you're going to do his work. And as I told you, God has a plan for your life. So you just continue on, right? God is going to do the work. At this time, thank God for Sister Kim. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. Sunday, April 14, 2024. Entering his gates with thanksgiving into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalms 104. On behalf of Pastor David Morton and Lady Tina Morton and the Refuge Temple Church family, we welcome you to Refuge Temple of Oxford. Our church doors are open, and our physical address is 311 West Spring Street, Oxford, North Carolina. Morning worship starts at 11.30 a.m. For those that are not able to join us, we'll be streaming live via Facebook on the Elder David Morton. Sunday school slash Bible study every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. via teleconference. For dialing information, please contact Elder Chavis or see Lady Tina Chavis. Sunday school has resumed on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., but we're still convened every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. via teleconference. The Connection Prayer, every Friday night at 7 p.m. For now, prayer service is via teleconference, and if you need dialing information, please contact Pastor David Morton. Our church announcements. Please mark your calendar. Friday, April the 19th, Pastor Morton will be the guest speaker in Petersburg, for their joint diocese fellowship service, and service time starts at 7 p.m. Again, that's next Friday, April the 19th. Pastor Morton will be the guest speaker in Petersburg, Virginia. Um, Sunday, April the 21st, um, being that some of us could not make the celebration on yesterday um, after we found out, you know, that it was canceled, um, but some of the um, women could not make it. The um, women's auxiliary, which includes um, the missionaries, women's council, we will be celebrating Lady Tina Morton for her birthday at 3 p.m. 
next Sunday. So we are asking all women of refuge to come together and let us celebrate our first lady. The location is to be determined. I won't say the location because it will be a surprise. <laughs> um, but we want to all come together, all the women and men. I apologize, men. We won't leave y'all out. But definitely the women, all the auxiliaries of um, Women's Auxiliary of Refuge Temple, we want to celebrate Lady Tina Morton for her birthday because she won't be here for her birthday. So, But we want to come together and celebrate her. The North Carolina Metropolitan Diocese Meeting will be held Friday, April the 26th through April the 28th through Sunday, April the 28th. Um, Sunday, there will be no church service here at Refuge Temple on Sunday, the April the 28th. Um, they are having a um, banquet. The diocese will be honoring all seniors at the um, diocese meeting. This will be the banquet. So if you want to attend the banquet, please let um, me know today um, so that Pastor can um, get the ticket count, the head count, so he can get tickets. So if you are planning to attend the banquet on Saturday evening, which will be honoring all seniors, please let um, me know today or Mother Shirley Williams so that we can give Pastor a head count um, of who will be attending. Um, also, auxiliary leaders, please make sure to print your um, blank, your reports, um, and turn those into Pastor and Sister Tina by next Sunday. If you have, um, they did say if you have already um, turned since your um, statement, that's fine. Your blank report, that's fine. But if you have not, they will um, mail those for you. So please get them to um, get those to them by next Sunday, April the 21st. Our birthdays um, for um, Sunday, April the 14th through um, Saturday, April the 21st. We have um, today. We have Sister Lucia Glover. Um, and we have Mother Evelina Foster. Mother Foster's birthday is today. Amen. <laughs> um, Monday, we have April the 15th, Brother Brent Wolfall. And um, on Wednesday, April the 17th, we have Sister Janae Williams, which is Bishop and Mother um, Williams' granddaughter. And then Saturday, April the 20th, we have Sister Tammy Keith. Do we have any birthdays that I may have omitted? April 19th. All right. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> I'll make sure to add that to the announcement, to the um, um, calendar for birthdays. All right, so we have Mother um, Shirley Williams, her, birth, her daughter's birthday. Sheila is April the 18th. All right, happy birthday. <laughs> April DJ Siebels is April the 16th. A April 16th. <laughs> All right, well, happy birthday. All right, we got a lot of April birthdays. <laughs> April was a busy month. <laughs> A lot of April birthdays. Um, so we have one more announcement. Greetings. Please join us on next Sunday for hot dogs and other refreshments after morning service. We will be celebrating all April birthdays, which we have a lot. <laughs> um, thank you, Sister Denise. To our visitors, whether it be here in the sanctuary, Facebook, or however you have chosen to join in today, it is our prayer and hope that when you depart from this service, you will carry with you a renewed faith in the power of God. God is not unmindful of life struggles. Trust in him, and he will help you to overcome. Please remember, Refuge Temple is not located in the heart of the city, but it does have the city at heart. And Sister Denise, is this this Sunday or next Sunday? I'm okay, next Sunday, April the 21st. I, ha I had to make sure I um, corrected that. Thank you. So um, next Sunday. Next Sunday, there will be hot dogs and other refreshments in the um, in the back fellowship hall. Thank you. Looks like there's a lot of April birthdays around here. So we thank God for all of you. We thank God in his, his kindness and, and in his benevolence. You know, so we thank God for Sister Kim 
in uh, taking the announcements. And we thank God for her in the mighty name of Jesus. And Mother Shirley Williams, and, uh, God, God is wonderful. So at this time, it's a part of the program that we all can participate in. I got one amen over here with her. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about? This is a part of the program everybody can participate in. Three of them going to heaven. <laughs> so we thank God. It's time for our offertory. We thank God for uh, uh, Brother Otis Williams and, and Roger, Brother Rock, Deacon Roger. Thank God. The table, amen, in the uh, center there, that's for the uh, pastor's offering. And the ushers will be coming out giving you your envelopes. We thank God. And just just so that we have accurate reporting, please make sure that you put your tithing and your offering all to the expenditures there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand. Every word of worship has one of song. Every praise. Let us all stand. With that which you desire to give unto the Lord, your tithing and your offertory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Eternal God and Father, once again, we're so grateful that we can come to the throne of grace. Father, that we have something to give. We bear in mind that there are others that have not to give. God, you're not a respecter of person. I ask, oh God, that you open the windows of heaven right now. Oh God, to bless the seed offering in your name, in the name of Jesus. Bless every home, oh God, that's providing and sowing into this kingdom and this work right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You're in the direction of the ushers. We worship you. We worship you. Worship and adore him. Come, come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship. 
worship and adore Him. Come, come, let us adore Him. Kneel down before Him, worship and adore Him. Thank God for it. I must decrease, and the man of God must increase. So we thank God for the man of God that will bring the affirmation and proclamation of the word of God to this day and time that we're living in. None other than the under-shepherd, under-shepherd of this house, and the person of, praise our God, Dr. Wooly David Morton, in Jesus' name. Let's greet him with a hearty amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord praise in this house. Hallelujah. We greet you in that wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ. We honor him for his goodness. We honor him for his mercy on today. It is because of him that we are yet in the land of the living. And our soul doth magnify him today. Amen. We honor not only the Lord Jesus Christ, but we give honor Apostle Wolf on the shoe. We and Brother Chavis of the Hunt to all of the brethren and deacons and missionaries and mothers of Zion. Amen. We just thank God for our youth. We thank God for our little visitors. We thank God for those that are joining us on Facebook. We just thank God for everybody that's in the house of God on today. It is another day that the Lord has made. And yes, we are here to rejoice as we have rejoiced and to be glad in it. I don't know about nobody else, but it's good to be in the house of the Lord where you can feel the power of God. Amen. And let me give a special thanks to the praise team. Boy, I'm going to tell you, y'all were just good today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They were singing out of the depths of their heart, and we thank God for that. We thank God for all those that minister in any form, amen, in the Refuge Temple. We honor the Lord for you on today. Thank God for our musicians, amen, who are doing an absolutely fantastic job, amen. Thank God, amen, for just blessing us to assemble ourselves in the house one more time. We want to take a moment and thank God for all of the love and support that was shown to my companion and myself. Amen. We had a beautiful uh, dinner, amen, that was prepared by one of our dear friends, uh, Sister Connie Austin. And boy, she did a fantastic job. Amen. I can still taste that baked chicken in my mouth now. Hallelujah. It was absolutely wonderful. And we just thank God for all of the gifts and cards and Everything that was done, it meant so much to us. And we thank most God, most of all, for the presence of the saints, amen, and for your prayers in the name of Jesus. For those that didn't know about it, I apologize, but that was kind of out of our control. This was our daughter's doing, amen, and she might have missed a few folks in the communication thing. But nevertheless, we thank God for every last one of you in the name of Jesus, Amen. We are blessed. The Lord has blessed us, amen, to be together for 43 years. Amen. And we thank God for that. I don't know how she put up with me all those years, but somehow or another she did it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll tell anyone, marriage is a wonderful thing if you get the right person. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Marriage is a wonderful thing as long as you get the right person. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? Amen. I can't say that there haven't been things that we didn't disagree about, but one thing we agree on, Jesus is first in our house. As long as you keep him first, all the other stuff will work his way out. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we give God all the glory. Man, we get a lot of accolades and compliments about how long we've been together. But I got sense enough to know if it had not been for the Lord, 
I'm going to say that again. If it had not been for the Lord, amen, we would probably be in the same number with so many folks that stay together for a little while, something go wrong, and they're ready to skip camp. But the Lord has blessed us to endure through all of our trials and tribulations. The Lord has kept us together, and I thank him for it. I'm going to say it again. I thank him for it. I can't take any credit for it. It's all the Lord's doing. And we praise and glorify his wonderful, wonderful name. Amen. I want to ask your prayers, amen, as we travel to Petersburg on Friday. And if, if anyone would like to go along, it's not mandatory or anything, but if someone just like to go along, let me know. Amen. And we'll be glad to drive the van if anyone would like to travel along. Um, we're going to be preaching. Um, and I, I didn't know this at first, but it's a, I said it was a joint diocese fellowship, but it's actually a joint diocese meeting. Amen. It's their uh, state, I'm not state, but uh, well, diocese convocation. So it is such an honor for me, amen, to get uh, requested to go there in the name of Jesus. And I give God glory for that because any opportunity that you get to share God's word with people of God, it's a blessing. Amen. And we thank him for that. And we're praying that the Lord will have his way, not only then, but I'm asking him to have his way right now. Somebody needs to hear from God this morning. I know I do. So if you will pray with me this morning, I'm sure that the Lord will say something that's going to bless our souls. I want to thank God for Bishop Williams who stepped in in my stead on last Sunday when I wasn't feeling well, and he did a fantastic job. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. Uh, uh, I owe him a dinner. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is much, well, I'm much like him since he's the oldest, but uh, when you try to pay him for preaching, he don't like to accept the offering. I, I can relate to that. So since I can't, uh, one of the things he does, I'll share this with you, whenever I go do something for him at his house, he know I won't accept any money, so he'll give me some money and tell me to get my grandkids some ice cream. <laughs> and I can't say no to that. So, hey amen, he won't take pay for me, so I'm going to take you to lunch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we give God praise for our leaders? Amen. He and Apostle Wolfhawk are dear, dear individuals in my life. They have both been a blessing. They have both been mentors to me, and I thank God for it. Uh, I try my best not to be like some younger preachers, not that I'm that young, but I'm younger than they are, that uh, think they know everything and don't want to listen to nobody. That's not me. Amen. When these wonderful men of God give me instruction, Amen. I try to take it to heart. I, I will always pray about it and go from there. But I want you to know that we are blessed to have men like this in our presence. And can we just give God a hand praise for our leadership? <laughs> Hallelujah. We appreciate them. Amen. We appreciate their families and we appreciate every last one of you. One thing I know about God, he is not a respecter of persons. So the same way that he loves them, he loves us also. Somebody ought to be glad about that. Hallelujah. I said somebody ought to be glad that our God loves us just as much as he loves the apostles. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. Those of you that have your Bible today, if you will, turn with me to the book of John, St. John chapter Number 15, the gospel according to John, chapter number 15, and I want to begin reading at verse number 1. When you have it, those that are physically able, would you do me the honor of standing as I read God's word? And also, I want to take a moment to thank God for seeing saints back in the church that have been under the weather as Bishop called Brother TJ's name, but I also want to make mention, amen, of our devotional leader this morning, Sister Shabara. She also 
spent some time in the hospital, but look how the Lord has raised her up back in the house of God and giving God praise of everything she had. Y'all don't know how good that made me feel. Amen. To see somebody down in the bed one week and then a week or two later they up giving God glory. That's the kind of God that we serve. Thank God, amen, uh, for how he's touched uh, Brother Don Keith, amen. We uh, had an opportunity to go by and holler to him the other week and he is coming along. He's also out of the hospital. He's back at home and we're just thanking God for how he is touching all those that have been under the weather. I'm looking at Sister Sharon, amen, walking better and better every day. Ain't God good, y'all? Hallelujah. There are others that have been some health challenges like Mother Gill, but God is truly, truly blessing us. And I got good news. He ain't through yet. We used to sing a song that said, better days are coming. By and by. The book of St. John, chapter number 15, beginning at verse number 1. The Bible reads, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it might bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except you abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken to you that your joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call ye not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I, excuse me a second, my iPad acting up. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, finish it off for me, please. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Mm hmm. Amen. That's it. Would you bow your head in a word of prayer? Precious Father, in the mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your adorable name right now. You alone are God, and beside you there is no other. 
We come this morning, oh God, looking unto the hill for which come our help, realizing that all of our help comes from you. We honor you, God, for being so wonderful, for being so patient with us, for God, for being so merciful. We ask you in the name of Jesus to search every one of our hearts right now. Forgive us, oh God, for anything that we've done, said, or thought that was against your will. We need you once again to create in us a clean heart, oh God, and to renew a right spirit in your children today. We come before thy presence asking you in the name of Jesus that you would touch, heal, and deliver every soul under the sound of my voice. Send your healing virtue, oh God, to somebody's body right now. We need you, Lord, to save the unsaved, to bring back the backslider, oh God, to open the eyes of the blind, open the ears of the deaf. Lord, help somebody to say yes to your will and yes to your way. Now, God, as we again approach the preaching moment, I'm asking you in Jesus' name to allow me to decrease that your anointing might increase. God, we ask you to do whatever you want to do and to say whatever you desire to be said. I yield myself and my members into thy hand to you, to your glory and to your honor. We magnify and glorify your adorable name right now. Now, God, we asking you in Jesus' name that not our will, but let your will be done, that your kingdom might be edified it is in the precious name, Lord Jesus Christ, that we pray. Come on, everybody, put your hands together and shout hallelujah. One more time, shout hallelujah. Before you take your seat, would you look at somebody close to you and tell them, neighbor, oh neighbor, you really ought to offer God some fresh fruit. You can have your seat in the name of Jesus, you really ought to offer God some fresh fruit. When we think about fruit, we understand in the natural that fruit, we are told by the medical field, can be a very, very uh, good thing if we would eat it the way that we are supposed to. Amen. Fruit, a man can have some very good uh, effects on our bodies because of the nutrients, amen, that are found in fruit. There are a lot of vitamins and nutrients, amen, that can do the body good. So we are encouraged, amen, to eat fruit. There used to be a saying back in the day that an apple a day will keep the doctor away, amen. And those sayings were form to help us remember the fact that when we eat fruit, amen, that it can be beneficial to our physical health. There are many, many scriptures in the Bible, amen, that uh, the word is uh, relative to the word fruit, amen. I'll take a moment and read you a couple of them. We'll, we find a man in the book of John, a man, the 15th chapter and the 8th verse, it says, Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so ye be my disciples. In the book of Matthew, a man, it says, To bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. A man, Ephesians 5 and 9 says, For the fruit of the Spirit in all goodness is in all goodness, and righteousness and truth. Amen. And, and here we find in the Bible it also says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law, which is found in the book of Galatians, verses 22 and 23. So we understand that in the natural, it is the ingredients in fruit that does the body good. Likewise, you need to know that the Bible says in Galatians that the fruit, not with an S, but the fruit of the Spirit are all of these things that I just mentioned. Therefore, we got to understand that to have the fruit that the Lord really wants us to have, we have to have the right ingredients in our 
spirit man. And the only way you're going to ever have uh, the complete package of those fruits is you're going to have to have a man the same way that God put the nutrients in the natural fruit. God has the ability to put those same nutrients in our spirit man. He does so by the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible, first of all, it mentions the fruit of repentance. If you want God to fill your cup, the first thing we have to do is truly come to a place in our lives when our minds have really been changed and we want to repent of the things we've done in our life that we know are contrary to the will of God. Understand that you can't go to God and say, Lord, I'm sorry just because you got caught doing something wrong. A man, many times, even in our marriages and in our relationships with our family, sometimes, a man, we'll get caught in our wrong and we'll say, I'm sorry, a man, just in the heat of the moment, a man, to get out of that particular predicament. But if you're really sorry, it means that you're not going to go back and do the same thing all over again. The Bible says in Galatians, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? There are too many people in the church world now that have the mentality that I can do whatever I want to do as long as I want to do it as much as I want to do it. And when I finally get tired of doing it, then I'll go to God and everything will be all right. But you got to understand that there is another side to God. Amen. As I began to read through the Bible, I have made my way all the way up to the book of Samuel. Amen. And I've been interested in the fact that every book I've read so far, there is an incident where Israel did something to displease God. God would forgive them. Amen. They would say, Lord, we're going to do right now. We're going to serve you and only you. But as soon as a little time passes by, we find Israel going back and displeasing God again. No wonder he said I'm married to a backslider because when you have the wrong spirit in you and you don't do something to get that spirit out of you, you will always go back and make the same mistakes over and over and over again. That's why you have to be born again of the water and of the spirit. It's not enough just to come to church, get baptized in Jesus' name, come to Sunday school, come to church, but never get the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the most vital thing that you're going to ever get in your walk on this earth because it is the Holy Ghost that leads and guides you into the truth about God's word. When you don't have the Holy Ghost, you can read the word of God. You can understand what it's saying, but you won't have the mindset to obey what it's saying. You'll take on the mentality, yeah, I know it said this, but it'll be all right. But my job is to let you know it's not going to be all right. Because the Bible says, if a man sin willfully, after you come to the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more forgiveness for that particular sin. You got to be careful how you handle God and handle his business. Understand church that the Bible says hallelujah that every tree that bears fruit amen God's going to bless you but it also says that a tree that does not bear fruit uh, it's got to be purged. Uh, one of the fruit that the Bible talks about is the grape and I know a little bit about grapes because my grandparents had three grapevines in our yard. And I remember that in the off season when the grapes were not growing if there were dead vines on the, on the entire branch, I mean dead branches on the vine my granddaddy would go and take his shears and cut off all the dead limbs because he told us that the dead limbs were taking nutrients from the good limbs. That's why you gotta be careful 
careful in the house of God because God if you in a house where everything is in order you got to make sure that you line yourself up with God's will because if you walk contrary to what God is trying to do at some point or another God is going to clip you off he's going to purge you because you take a necessary nutrients from the entire body that's why you got to be careful saints how you talk about folks behind their back that's why saints you got to be careful how you run folks down when they really ain't done nothing to you and I got news for you even if they did do something to you the Bible says to do unto others that you would have them to do unto you if you don't want nobody cussing you out you shouldn't cuss anybody out if you don't want nobody running your name down behind your back then you shouldn't be running anybody else's name down around their back look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor God wants some fresh fruit something I know about fruit uh, you can have an apple tree in your yard and the apple tree can bloom and these big apples can come in hallelujah let them hang there and they turn all ripe and red or if you got an apple tree like we used to have that had those yellow apples you know those sweet yellow apples amen when they get to a certain point you have to pick them off the tree otherwise they'll just hang there and they'll fall on the ground and once they fall on the ground either something will eat them up uh, like them deals and rabbits or they'll lay there and rot you got to understand church that the Lord told me to tell refuge it's time for us to be about our father's business God is going to elevate the anointing in the house of God God, I thank you. He's getting ready, church, to, for us to get out of these four walls, get out in the hedges and the highways. Boy, I feel this thing today. He's getting ready for us to stop hanging out in these four walls and get out in the streets and compel folks. Bishop, we got to go back to the days when we walk through the neighborhood and let folks know that there's somebody other than the Jehovah Witnesses that love God and love him the way he wants to be loved. We got to be real witnesses. We got to get off of our high horses. Stop looking down our nose at people that we don't think are as good as we are. We got to be able to reach out to the lost, to reach out to the broke, to reach out to the sick, to reach out to the sinners, to reach out to the prostitutes, to reach out to the drug addict because the Lord wants us to bear fruit. When I began to study about this fruit, I found out that in the scriptures what the Lord wants, he wants some results hallelujah it's not enough just to come together sing a few songs preach a few messages and go back home and never lead nobody else to the kingdom of God but God wants us to be busy reaching out to the unsaved he wants us to bear some good fruit he wants us to show some results he wants us to encourage folks to come to Jesus let folks know what you're going through I've already been there I've already done that and the same God that brought me out of my mess will bring you out of your mess fresh fruit God won't come that'll let the world know I haven't been saved all my life I've been down I've been out but the Lord picked me up and turned me around the Lord delivered me out of my turmoil the Lord healed my body the Lord saved my soul the Lord filled me up the Lord brought me through
uh, fresh fruit. Uh, God wants somebody not to live uh, on what you did in past years. Uh, what you did in the past uh, is in the past. Uh, but the Lord uh, wants some fresh fruit. Uh, he wants somebody not to look at uh, your accomplishments, but to look uh, at your shall be. Let the Lord know uh, I shall be blessed in the city. I shall be blessed in the field. I shall go forth and offer up a sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. Fresh fruit. The Lord wants somebody to get excited about winning souls. Fresh fruit. The Lord wants somebody that's willing to lay aside the sin and the weight that can so easily beset us. Beset us from what? That will keep us from being soul winners. Anything in your life that hinders you from reaching out to the lost is weight. Are y'all still with me? Hallelujah. So we have to do self-evaluation and ask yourself, what is it in my character that hinders me from being an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ? For some folks, it's something as simple as being shamefaced. Are y'all still with me? Some folks, it's as simple as not wanting to be rejected. And that's something that once upon a time that I struggled with. Because I didn't like to try to talk to people about Jesus. And they act like they didn't want to hear it. Man, I don't want to hear that mess. That would discourage me at one point. But the closer you get to God, and the more you realize what God did for you, look how he was rejected. The Bible said he came into his own. That's like us coming to our family members for some support, for some love, for some encouragement, and they turn their back on you. That's what Israel did to Jesus. He came into his own. The Bible says his own received him not. But what did he do in response? He died not only for his people, he died for everybody. I read it a few minutes ago. Or maybe Bishop read it, I don't remember. But the scripture says, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And did you know that Jesus said, I didn't call you servant, even though we are his servants. He said, I don't call you servants. Because the servant don't know what his master doeth. He said, I call you friends. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness in this house that you will never find a friend better than Jesus? <laughs> and we have good friends. I know I do. Had some wonderful friends here on yesterday. And as much as I love them, I wouldn't dare try to love them more than I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Folks that know me know I'll take the shirt off my back and give it to you if it'll help you. But I ain't giving you nothing that's going to hurt Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants the body of Christ to be diligent in providing fresh fruit. 
fresh anointing, fresh results, fresh souls, fresh determination, fresh willingness to give God our fresh fruits. Hallelujah. Y'all do know that he requires that. And I'm, I'm not a big money preacher, never have been, never will be. But I got to tell you this because it'll bless you. When you give God that 10% of your fresh fruits, it blesses your life. It's like giving God permission to control all your finances. Because when you give him what belongs to him, this is not an offering. <laughs> an offering is what you give of your own accord. But that tithing belongs to God. I didn't say that. God said that. And you need to understand, church, that when you give him what already belongs to him, he said, I'll open up the windows of heaven and I'll pour you out blessings that you don't have room to receive. Thank God for seeing Sister Mary and coming how God, you know, made my day. Hallelujah. Fresh fruit. God wants our best. And he wants it all the time. One of the mistakes that churches can make and people can make is to live the rest of your life on what you already did. We thank God for what has been done in the past. But I'm also thanking God for what he's going to do right now and what he's going to do in the future. Sometimes I can catch myself reminiscing about the good old days. And we all do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I have to remind myself that the same God that was moving in those days is able to move right now. We are the ones that become stagnated in our past, they get stagnated in our accomplishments, not understanding that there's greater heights and deeper depths that we all can reach for. Don't care how old we are, God still has something that he can use us to accomplish in his kingdom. We are living in a time, church, when we have allowed the church house to become an entertainment center. People now come to church to be entertained. And I don't mean everybody. Understand that. But if you watch social media, YouTube, you see so, so, so much entertainment in the house of God. Well, I'm going to say in the house. I don't even know if that's the house of God. But it's a <laughs> pretend house. Reminds me of the scripture that says that they have a form of godliness. But deny the power thereof. You know how you deny the power? By not having the power, first of all. The first thing you got to do is have the power inside. And once you have it inside, you got to obey it. Remember, the Holy Ghost is a gentleman. I know we preached it, but it ain't accurate. It does not make us. It encourages us. It persuades us. It influences us. But if you have the Holy Ghost and you still want to sin, trust me, you will sin. But I'm telling you, if you get it right, 
like the Bible says. That's some powerful stuff. And you're going to have to be halfway out of your mind to not honor what's in you. The Holy Ghost is real. And no, it won't make you, but boy, it'll have a strong influence to help you along the way. God wants fresh fruit. Don't just hang on the apple tree until you fall off and ride. Be about your father's business. Do something to help somebody else in this walk with God. I know the Bible says save yourself from this untoward generation. But in doing so, don't get so selfish that you don't want nobody else to take the trip. Hallelujah. Fresh fruit. We need to offer God the sacrifice of our praise. I was reading about this fruit and one commentator was saying that when you offer up uh, one of the characteristics of fruit was praise. And when you praise God, now we can all testify that sometimes you come to church and you don't feel like praising God. Head hurting, back hurting, cramps, all kind of stuff to try to keep you from giving God praise. But when you have those days, but you make up in your mind, you know what, I don't feel good, but I'm going to praise him anyway. That is when you have a sacrifice of praise. I don't feel like it, but because he's worthy, I'm going to praise him anyhow. My hair hurting, my feet hurting, my shoe about to make my comb fall off my toe. But I'm going to give him a praise in the hair. That's when the sacrifice is giving something that you don't want to give. You don't feel like giving. Something that costs you something. Hallelujah. I always make the analogy about baseball and the sacrifice bunt. If you're like me and like to hit home runs, when the coach tell you to bunt, it costs you something because you, you're giving up the glory of a home run, a potential home run, to put somebody else in scoring position. But for the good of the team, you make that sacrifice. Hallelujah. And that's what we as children of God have to learn how to do. Esteem others higher than ourselves. God wants fresh fruit. Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise, everybody. We pray, amen, that something has been said to help us all examine ourselves, make sure that we are in the faith. If you're in the house today and you need something from God, we invite you to the altar right now. Maybe you've never been baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. And by way of announcement, Bishop Charlie Jones, amen, is bringing over this afternoon at 3 o'clock. I think he said you had 12 souls that we're going to take down in the name of Jesus. And if you would like to be added to that number, let me know and we'll make it happen. God is still washing away sin. Hallelujah. He's still able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or even think. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah.